it is Simon here, and today we are going to look at Jessie's Girl by Rick Springfield. We're going to cover the rhythm, we're going to cover the solo, let's kick it off. We're going to start off... Uh, on the chart I've got the very first little bit, we're just playing single notes, the root note basically of the chords, right? So what you can do is back of your hand here, over the top of the saddles, right? So you can still hear the note a little bit, but not loads, right? So we need... So how that works, we've got D, D, A, A, B, B, G, G, A, A, D, D, right? Numbers wise, that's five, 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 seven, seven, three, three, five, 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 okay? So uh, counting wise, we've got, uh, we start on the and after the four. So one and two and three and four. So, when the chords come in, it goes like this. So I've got them coming in about, one, two, three, four, eight bars after we kick off the singing, okay? Now what I'm doing there, instead of playing kind of regular bar chords, which you totally could, I'm just playing five chords, power chords, right? So generally, I tend to use my little finger. It's so that you can kind of come up with riffs like that. But you could also use your third finger. Or you could use your third and fourth fingers. The most important thing is that with your right hand, you're catching the low two strings of each chord. D, A, A, B, B, G, G, A, A, D, D. Okay, cool. Now, it goes around there until we get to the last bar before the chorus. And it just crescendos on an A5. All right, and then we have the chorus, and we're gonna play A, D, 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 A, D, 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 and then we're gonna go back to A, and then B, B, A, B, B, A, okay? So you get one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four. I'll play that around a few times if you wanna play along. Then we go to G, A, and then we're going to play not a five chord, but a sus two. It's going to be D sus two. So you need five, seven, seven, five, five, all the way. Yeah? So we get. How good is that? And then up to B. Woman like that, right? So. Now, then it goes back to the beginning, the, sorry, the big, all the way around there, until you get to that G, A, D, sus, two thing again. Now, the second time, you get, and it basically just repeats the chorus. And then we get G, A, D. Now, it plays this G, A, D thing basically three times. The first time we've got one and two and three and four and one. Now that is an anticipated, it's on the and after the four. So we've got. And then the third one is the same as the first one. Okay, then we get to the bridge, and this actually is uh, one of my favorite bits. Like as much as I love the solo, this is killer, it's super 80s. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a loop here. We've got a G, basically G5. Okay. 
Now, what happens is that he plays three chords, the keyboard plays three chords over the top, and they are G, D, A. And it's gonna sound like this. So that is a D-shaped G, 7, 8, 7, and then 10, 10, 11 for the D, and then 9, 10, 9, okay, for the A. Now it plays that five times actually, and on the sixth time it goes, and it just, the guitar underneath comes up for a minute. Bow, bow. Okay, and it plays an A underneath. All right, and then we get to the solo. So before the solo kicks off, there's eight bars of basically the riff, but played in F sharp. Don't know why. We've got. So it's same thing, F sharp, B, 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 F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp. Eight, uh, so basically eight bars, but four times around that. Okay, and then it goes woman like that bit with G. Now, that A is where the guitar solo kicks off. If you're able to support the channel, please do at Simon, no, to patreon.com forward slash Simon Morrell at Patreon. You can get access to every single chart I've ever written. That's over 3,000 charts and a bunch of Extra exclusive only happens at Patreon stuff, including extra videos and lessons and all sorts of things. So please do go and check that out. Okay, guitar solo time. I'm gonna put a bit more well into the guitar. We've got um. Now, vibrato is really important in this uh, guitar solo. We're gonna play first up uh, with your first finger. Uh, four Ds, so that basically is and four, and one, and two, and, right? Pretty easy start. And then we're just gonna come back down. Okay, so, 12, 12, 12, 12. And then. Okay, and then we're gonna hit a 17, we're gonna do a massive bend. Okay, so the first two phrases. Next one. So we're gonna hit a 10 D, and then we're gonna walk down. Okay, next phrase. Okay, so we slide into 14 there. So that's 14, 14, 12, 15. Then nine to seven on the G string. Okay, next phrase. Let's just move my chart. Next phrase, we hit 15. Then we hit uh, 14, 15, 12, 15. Okay. Whether you want to use your little finger. Doesn't matter. And then we've got, we're going to hit it into. Sort of like a little arpeggio kind of thing there. We're going to slide into F sharp with your third finger. All right. So 11, 10, 12, 9. So, this is quite important to use your second and third fingers here. You've got, uh, seven and eight. And you're going to hit that and you're going to slide two frets, both of them. And then you release your third finger, put your first finger on eight, then back in, and then nine, ten, ten. And then the chord underneath goes, and then he catches an A. 
does some kind of weird slide. Uh, I didn't write that down, so I can't be sure. But I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Okay, that is the guitar solo. Okay, so after the solo, we run back into the chorus. <laughs> Okay, so that big ending is A, D, D, A, D, A, D, and then a big D with an A and a bass. All right, that is how Jesse's Girl by Rick Springfield goes. If you want the chart, go visit simonrell.com forward slash free hyphen chart. I will see you next time. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.